So there's a controversy surrounding the term bisexual. Some people say that the term bisexual implies that there is a dichotomy in gender, that there are only two genders, and that is male and female, and that is oppressive to people who identify otherwise. The usual solution to this is to use the word pansexual, because pan means everything or all. I love the word pansexual, I identify as pansexual as well as bisexual, I don't think the terms need to be mutually exclusive, but I want to say a few words in defense of the word bisexual. First of all, there is a solution to the concept that the term bisexual is oppressive. Heterosexual comes from the word heteros, which means different. Homosexual comes from the word homo, which means means the same. So if you were to apply the word bi, which means two, if we apply this in the same way that we apply hetero and homosexuality, then we've got different and the same. So bisexuals are attracted to people who are different and people who are the same. Oh no, but that messes with the word heterosexuality and might throw off heterosexuals' ideas about their own sexual orientation. What a shame. We wouldn't want to do anything like that now, would we? So that's how I identify my bisexuality. I'm attracted to people who are the same gender identity as me and people who are not. I just like making out. So I have personal reasons to defend the term bisexuality, which I think a lot of other bisexuals that I've known over the years um, share the same feelings about. When you're young and you're trying to come out as bisexual, it is a bit sucky. And not just emotionally, but also practically. First of all, you can't figure out what the fuck you are because everyone's telling you that you're either gay or straight and you're like, oh, am I? I can't, I can't decide which one I am. And then finally you think, okay, it looks like I might be this bisexual thing that I've heard about. So then you start coming out as bisexual and none of the straight people believe you, and none of the gay people believe you, and some of the bisexuals don't believe you either. So then you progress with your life, and you're getting on with it, you're an adult, you're, you're living an adult life, not like a triple X life, just like grown up, although some of us. And coming out is just a constant process, you come out all the time, to every new friend you make, you end up having to come out eventually. And unless they are queer or bi or pan-identified, there's a pretty good chance that they're gonna sit there and question your sexual orientation. At the very least, they'll try and decide which do you prefer, men or women, so that they can box you off in their minds. And as you continue to grow as a person, you realize that uh, gender and sex are just so much more complex because you're bisexual and, and it never seems to fit the way for you that it does for anyone else and you become more removed from the monosexist ideas about these things and then you find there's there's some there's a bisexual community they're small and mostly on the internet but it exists by small I don't mean like the people are small I mean like the community. But it is worldwide, it's it's there, I mean it's big relatively speaking. You become proud of your identity, you you develop this pride in like, yes I'm bi, I can say that proudly, and that sometimes actually helps people respect your identity. Then some people come along and tell you that you're oppressing trans people and anyone else who has a different gender identity than male of, or female. I see your point and I think it's really important that we need to discuss these things and the roots of these words and, and what they mean to us and what they mean to other people. But it feels a lot like this weird viciousness towards bisexuals and that's what we're used to is gay people and straight people and all the people telling us that we're wrong and we don't know what we're talking about and we don't know how to identify ourselves. Monosexuals, you don't get that. We get that every day. We get that from everyone we talk to about it. Give or take a few. And you know what? The term bisexual, it comes from plants. 150 years ago it was only being referred to as the gender of plants. We didn't make this up, we didn't apply it to us in the first place, this was given to us. And the meaning has evolved and changed. So yeah, for clarity's sake, I, I like to identify as bisexual, I will also happily identify as pansexual. But yeah, I guess I'm just trying to give monosexuals some more perspective on what it's like to come out as bisexual and what that word means to us, because I think it's in some ways more complicated than identifying monosexually. And I promise you, that as a bisexual, I wish to smash the fascist heterosexual orthodoxy and destroy gender norms. Who's with me? Oh, and by the way, next time I'm probably going to talk about being genderqueer. For any of you who are wondering about my gender identity.